Good day again. Um, at the end of part two of the uh, the Baofeng UV5R, I said, was there something else? Was there something else? Was there something else? And I said, no, there wasn't, because I, I, I couldn't recall what it was that I was thinking about. Um, but um, there are just a couple of other things, so this this won't take long. Just a, just just two or three minutes, just to just to finish this off. Um, and that is uh, one. I'll just, one, four, six, nine, seven, five. I'll just put uh, that uh, other frequency in the one that um, I've got the other radio tuned to. One four six nine seven five. Now, if uh, it occurred to me that not everyone watching this is going to be in um, Australia, and uh, there might be some people watching in uh, in the UK, you can probably tell I came from the UK originally. And back in the UK, to access the repeaters, they didn't use subtones, they didn't have open squelch, they used a 1750 hertz sort of pip tone. I think it's for one and a half seconds. And I just looked at the instructions, and if you've got one of these and you're in the UK, and you need to transmit a 1750 hertz pip tone to, to activate your local repeater. What you do is you press the PTT, like that, then you press band. And there's your um, uh, 1.75 kilohertz um, repeater access pip tone. So you press the PTT. And there's your uh, and there's your pip tone to bring your repeater up. So uh, if you're in Europe, you don't have to you don't have to whistle into the microphone. Now um, there was something menu. else, and in the menu, um, that's right. It was uh, oh yeah, save. Now menu item number three is save. Now that's battery save. I've got it switched off because. I'm not. Um, I'm not really concerned about um, preserving battery power on this because I've got the charger handy. You know, I'm not a prepper hiding in a shrub, conserving every uh, every ounce of electrical power. But basically, what you can do with this is Menu. Um, you can select Menu. this so that you can have uh, save one, save two, save three, or save four, and save 4 will save you the most power and off will save you the least power and the way it works is if you've got save off which is um, which is what I want um, the receiver is on all the time and uh, in order to conserve power if you put it to save 1 save 2 save 3 or save 4 what it does is it turns the, it turns the receiver on every now and then to look at the um, uh, just to see if there's anything on on the on the frequency. Um, so one, we'll look at it. Um, uh, I can't remember which way around it is now. I think uh, uh, yeah, one will probably look at it uh, for argument's sake. It's not going to be very long. I haven't actually timed it, but it might be ten seconds. So it might say look, it will look once every ten seconds, for example. And if you set it to four, it will look four times within the ten seconds. And if you set it to off, then it will just be continuously. It will just continuously monitor the frequency for ten seconds. So if you were interested in conserving your power, probably the safest place to uh, to have it have save set to Menu. Um, would be um, two, somewhere in the middle, so that um, you know it's saving you power, um, but um, it's uh, it's also looking at the frequency often enough that you won't miss a very quick call. So that's what save does. And um, if we go to um, Vox, I think the voice. Oh yeah, I said I didn't know what this was, and that of course is the talking prompts that um, I'm not really interested in once I've done this demonstration. Um, so I'll press menu Wait again, see what the options are. So Eng is actually English. Um, there's off. Oh, there's Chinese. Oh, OK, so you can have Chinese, you can have English, or you can have off. Out oh, of curiosity, I'll just see what Chinese sounds like. Oh, so that was confirmed in Chinese. So I'll come out of there and I'll go to... Oh, so that's saying channel mode. So you could actually teach yourself Chinese with this, as long as you weren't 
really as long as you were only interested in a very limited Chinese vocabulary you'd be it's, it's another bonus you know with a bonus feature with this particular unit so I'll put it back in frequency mode huh. and uh, <laughs> now I've got to find voice again what was it it was yeah it was that one and press menu again change it from Chinese to off because uh, I'm finished. So voice is off and of course with the voice off it doesn't say confirmed does it? Wakey wakey CS. Right um, so I think that about wraps it up. Um, so you know about save, um, you know about the 1750 Hertz pip tone, um, you know about the voice prompts, um, I think uh, I think that about wraps it up. Um, oh, I didn't do a translation for Baofeng. Um, Baofeng translates directly from Chinese into English as uh, export only model for imperialist stooges. So that's always uh, that's always worth remembering. Baofeng. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative or both as usual. Um, and uh, this will be the short, shortest bit so far with regard to the Baofeng UV5R at uh, six minutes and a bit. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time.